The music of Karl Szymanowski deserves to be heard much more often than it is. It's of a reliably high quality of craftsmanship and inspiration, and it's hard to explain just why it's so forgotten as it has become. Partly it has to do with the fact that he was Polish and therefore he lived rather on the fringe of the musical mainstream. Chopin, of course, had been a famous Polish composer, but after Chopin, we really have to move very close to our own time to find other really world-famous Polish composers. In the years just before the First World War, Szymanowski grew increasingly interested in the French school of composition. And it's at that time that his works start to show very much the influence of Ravel and of Debussy. And that's where the violin concerto number one comes in. It's a beautifully textured work. Its sound has the lusciousness of French music. And it also has a rather mystical contour to it that might evoke even Scriabin, who we don't think of as having very many followers, and yet Szymanowski was to some extent one. This violin concerto unusually was inspired by a poem, an obscure poem called May Night. And it's not as if this is a piece of program music. It's not like Szymanowski has set out to illustrate musically certain images in the poem, but it seems to have been a source of inspiration of some sort for him. Uh, but in any case, it doesn't need to be interpreted beyond the music itself. This stands perfectly well on its own as one of the most beautiful poetical pieces of music in the entire concerto literature.